Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Halloween Horror Nights 2024 and I am so excited. Universal invited me out and gave me permission to film inside all of the houses so that I can make a video and share my experiences with you. So spoiler warning, I'm going to be showing you everything. And I figured we'd go through some houses, eat some food and have a scary Halloween Horror Nights kind of night. Anywho's, let's go do this. It looks like a lot of people are lined up for the opening uh, ceremony. And this is one of my favorite things about HHN. It's such a rush just starting off the night this way. This year's Halloween Horror Nights lineup is amazing. We have 10 houses, everything from Ghostbusters, A Quiet Place, Insidious, five scare zones and an awesome show and they even added a premium scare night where it's the night before the opening night and it's a special uh like 350 dollars ticket event you basically have all of hhn to yourself and you get food and drinks included with it uh so i decided to actually go to it so i can scope out where i want to film inside the houses and then insert them in so you can see them uh, as we go about the day <laughs> it has officially begun and I am so excited the opening ceremony is so much fun and it gets you really hyped up and then as soon as you get through those gates the scare actors come at you and you gotta rush to your like first house because that's like the best way to skip any long lines if you actually just run to the first house there's nobody in line and that's why everyone likes to do the scream and stay and a lot of other options where you get closer to the actual houses and I'm excited I think we're gonna do the ones up front we're gonna do you know like uh, a quiet place Ghostbusters and uh, all the ones in the front of the park and then make our way to the back I think for the first house of the night, we should just make our way into a quiet place. This is probably one of my most anticipated houses, only because I love the movie so much. And you get to kind of hang out right here where it's got a beautiful view while you wait in line. I am so excited for this house. And just so you guys know, I'm going to be showing all of the, uh, the house itself. So if you guys are, you know, very sensitive to strobe lights and uh, any other uh, conditions that could bother you, I would probably recommend skipping over. But we're going to head right on in. I'm sure a lot of people are wondering if it's quiet inside of a quiet place. Well, that's up to you because you're supposed to stay quiet. You know, that's the point of the movie. And I'm hoping that it is very quiet in there and you just hear the screams of terror and the noises the uh, monsters make. I don't know what kind of noise they made. It's like... It's not like, it's not like The Last of Us. It's different. It's I don't know if I... I think it sounds something like that. <laughs>
quiet place was terrifying. It was so dark in the beginning, you probably couldn't see anything. And then all of the big monsters, the babies crying, and it was pretty quiet in there. And I'm glad because like I was wondering, like if you stay quiet, is it gonna keep the monsters away? And I'm sure like they target people that you know scream because that's what you know most houses are like. They go after the people that are scared. So it's kind of like true to the movie. If you make noise, they're gonna come get you. Since we did a quiet place, we might as well stay in the front of the park and make our way over here. I think we have Ghostbusters and Insidious. Oh, and it's going to start getting dark out soon, and then we're going to go into some of the scare zones. I'm really hoping Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is very cold. Usually the cold house uh, is uh, a Yeti last year, and I think it's uh, the triplets house this year. That's like the coldest house. Uh, but I think we're going to go Ghostbusters next. So far, the wait for A Quiet Place was only 10 minutes, and it says this is only 10 minutes, too. I mean, it's a pretty good night. Hey, how are you? Hope you get scared. <laughs> I was a fan of the Ghostbuster Frozen Empire movie. I really loved growing up watching the originals, and it was cool how they brought everyone back. And I'm excited to see what this house is gonna be like, because they have had Ghostbuster houses uh, before in the past, and I've always loved them. I thought they were kind of scary, but silly, you know? Oh, it looks like they're about to go into uh, a change, a shift change, just in time.
what you need for this. Ghostbusters was awesome as well. I love how they like, emphasized on the plasma rays on the walls, and I loved all of the scares and all the ghosts. And I would definitely, I, I, I'm gonna wait to the end. I was gonna say, I was gonna start ranking them, but maybe we should do all of the houses first, and then I'll let you guys know what my favorite houses are and what my least favorite houses are. We're just gonna keep with the theme and uh, do all the houses up front first. The Triplets of Terror, I did the uh, unmasking the tour and I think that house is gonna be great. Uh, but uh, might as well just make our way to Insid uh, Insidious. Insidious! I have to say that so far, this has been one of the best nights I've ever had at Halloween Horror Nights. It is so quiet and empty, like you never get to see all of this space and normally I can only get like one house done before it gets dark out. But look, it's still sunlight out and uh, we're about to head into our third house and I'm excited, Insidious! Now go outside. He's so gotta go baby. Keep a steady <laughs> Yeah! 
that's not right. <laughs> Insidious is definitely one of the scariest houses I've ever been to. Only because that movie scares me itself. And it's kind of like walking through your own scary movie. Like, if you can pick any movie that scares you the most, and then Halloween Horror Nights makes a move, like a house about it, and then you go walking through it, of course you're going to get a little chill up your spine. But now I think we're going to move along and maybe hit up some of the scare zones and try some of the food. I think now that we've done the three houses up front, maybe we go through a scare zone. I always love this scare zone because they have like little entertainment segments all along this road. Look at it, it's happening right now. It's the Age of Sinister? Yeah. It is upon us! <laughs> Help me, please! Oh, Lanza. Guys, cool. Look at him up there. <laughs> He's got a turkey leg in his mouth. <laughs> that was good. I thought you were fake, buddy. <laughs> I stopped into Louie's, which is a little pizza spot that's right uh, next to that scare zone that we walked through. And I realized that we missed the house in the front, so we're going to have to go back through the scare zone and go through the house that was up front there and then make our way back through here. So we're going to backtrack a little bit. I love coming back to this area of the park because it's just so nifty because it's kind of like you're backstage. You got the coaster right there. You got the beautiful Universal Orlando welcomes Halloween Horror Nights 33 marquee. And uh, yeah, we're heading on in. You can even see the uh, Hogwarts Express going by up there. Like I mentioned before, I did the unmasking the tour. That's like a special tour where you get to go on and see the houses with the lights on. And I went through this house, Triplets of Terror, and it is so creepy. Just walking on, like walking through it with the lights on and not any scare actors, I could tell that this one's gonna be a scary house, but it's gonna be hard to top Insidious. I'm still thinking about it. The music, Tiny Tim, like it was terrifying and they knew what they were doing.
Blitz of Terror was just as creepy as when I walked through it when the lights were on to when there were scare actors in there. Like just seeing the physical props gave me the creeps. You know what I mean? And there's this one scene where you see one of the triplets and it is just terrifying. Like I just kept on looking and I couldn't stop. But now I think we're gonna keep moving along. I'm having the best night ever and I'm getting scared a lot. And I think it's fun anytime I see somebody, instead of saying bye, I say, I hope you get scared. Hope you get scared. Before we get to the Blumhouse scare zone, which is right down there, there's another house over here we might as well stop in. I always love the houses that are in the Fast and the Furious building, only because it has like that indoor-outdoor area, and it kind of makes it even cooler. And this one is going to be good because it's major suites. And uh, I, I had this on my hype list. It was pretty high. This is going to be our fifth house of the night. And honestly, I'm excited for the rest of them. I know we still have monsters in the back. And then we've got uh, Slaughter Cinema, which I think that is going to be such a great house. Because that was included in the Unmasking the Tour. And the pulsing through the houses have been exceptional. I think that is such a cool thing. And the wait times have been about 10 minutes. So, I mean, if they continue to have this premium night, um, I think I would definitely come back again. I mean, the, the food will alone is worth it I haven't even I haven't even dove into the food only because I just love going to all the houses and I want to be scared major sweets candy factory standby entrance this way major sweets candy.
I did not expect major sweets to be so bright in there. I like how the fog was changing colors. And it's also really cool to see a scare zone get so popular and liked that they turn it into a house and kind of make like a little like prequel and like give, give it more backstory. So very fun. And I can't wait to go at the end of the night. Like I said, just sit down and rank you. Maybe I'll give you my top three and my least favorite three. Oh boy, it's time to make our way into the Blumhouse scare zone. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Megan's up there too. Even the scare actors gotta eat. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. <laughs> it's a nice night for a walk. Mind if I join you? Do what you wanna do. Well, that's great, cause I'm gonna. They don't need to scare you. They just gotta be creepy like that guy. <laughs> he followed me all the way through. Look at that though, five minute wait. That is so awesome. And it's only like eight o'clock. So, I mean, we have plenty of time, plenty of time to get everything done. When I did this house during the unmasking tour, I kind of uh, realized that some of the houses looked like the seasonal offerings here at Universal. Like there was a Mardi Gras room and then there's holiday, like Christmas and stuff like that. And I kind of thought that was cool because it's a little bit of every, you know, a little bit of something for everybody. And I love the original Slaughter Cinema and uh, I think it's just going to be a good house. And you'll see, we'll see, we're heading in right now. Oh, look at this. They got movies playing. It's kind of like a little uh, drive-in. You ever go to a drive-in theater? They still got one back home in uh, Scranton or Dixon City, the Circle Drive-In. I wonder if you could just sit out here and watch the movies. I'm probably sure you could. <laughs> the speaker box. Night of the Undead Clowns. Yo, <laughs> they really pump in the fog in the queue here. <laughs> oh no.
house was something else. I never thought in a million years I would see mummy strippers, some elves hacking someone's head off, and uh, a gigantic shark all in one house. All in one house! The house over on this side is in an interesting spot this year. Right in the middle of Simpsons. The museum. Deadly exhibits. Only a five minute wait too, so I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna go in. This house kind of reminds me of uh, Night at the Museum, the movie with Ben Stiller, but in the reverse effect. Instead of everything coming to life, everything starts dying. <laughs> It's reputation grew when it was built up through melt clocks and plagues. Its reputation grew when it was built up through over a course of 200 years and continued to be blamed for multiple outbreaks of disease and famine. In the fall of 2024, the newest exhibit. It's possessed. It's
my god, I got so scared. was so good. I love how they had some of the characters just blending in with the wallpaper, and I didn't see it coming. It caught me so off guard. I literally got scared, and I loved it. I really was such in the way that the, the rotting stone was making everything like glow, but also die. Wow, I'm shocked with that one. When you get down here, you only have uh, the little carry drive-in area back there by Animal Actors, and then straight back, E.T., uh, but they got it all blocked up. Nothing there. Nothing at all. And uh, here we go for our, I think it's our third scare zone? This used to be my favorite when they had the pumpkins in the tree. Oh, it's so dark, and it looks like there's figures like in the shadows, so I can't tell if they're real or if they're people that are going to try to scare me. Oh boy, look at this. Hey! Hey now! <laughs> that scare zone was really dark and I couldn't see anyone coming out at me. But now I want to keep moving along. We got three more houses to go like I said. And I think uh, one more scare zone or two? Okay, I I'm losing count. This one looks really, really cool. Why is everyone sitting out front? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's like a, a nice little greeting there. How you doing? Hey man, how you doing? Nice seeing you again. Even bob and weave, bob and weave. <laughs> This music is really cool because everyone's just dancing. They're not scaring anybody. I'm gonna take out the trash. Hey, yo! <laughs> you got me! Hey! I'm getting out of here. <laughs> what is. Yo! I ain't getting teamed up here! <laughs> That's not fair! I was walking through that whole entire scare zone and there were at least six scare actors surrounding me. Just a bunch of chainsaws up here. Look at this right now. You have one, two, three, four, five, six chainsaws. <laughs> and just me. Six against one's not fair. Ooh, this one's gonna be good. The Monsters of Latin America. Oh, okay. And I kind of like that this one's next to uh, Despicable Me. Because I can feel the AC coming from the queue. It feels very nice. Two more houses to go after this. I know we got Goblins and then the Monsters one. And honestly, I, I don't know where they're at. <laughs> I, think they're, I think we passed them.
Dígame, dígame, dígame usted Cuántas criaturitas se ha chupado usted El Simón es mío production house it was so beautiful in there i loved the puppets it was absolutely stunning and i i heard that it was actually voted one of the best houses in hollywood and i'm happy that i came over here that's like the shocker for me for the night that one was really good and i wasn't expecting because i've never done hollywood well halloween horror nights in hollywood i i almost said hollywood halloween horror nights but i can, i guess you can do it both ways that's why I walked right past it. It's a double feature. They got Goblin Feast and Monsters uh, Internal Bloodlines. Eternal, internal. And they're both a five minute wait and it's the same, uh, same entrance. Like I said, this is a double feature. So both of the houses are back here and it's kind of cool the way that they have it set up. I'm actually already impressed. Yeah, look at this. Wow, so we're gonna go bing bang, bing bang. Bing bang, how you doing? Wow, look at the way they got these set up back here. 
They're expecting a lot of people. <laughs> They're expecting a real lot of people. I feel like I'm at a concert or a sporting event. Look at this outside facade. They're really doing a good job with the facades at uh, this year's HHN. I also like to say the word facade because I think it sounds fancy. was a good house it, you know I like that they had a lot of larger like puppets and characters for some reason I don't know what that phobia is where you're afraid of like giant things but I have it and I liked it in there and I like this smell too it's actually it's a, it a nice little feast smell I think you don't understand you are being feasted on I don't like you that smell on the menu. I don't like it anymore <laughs> And then when you come out of Goblin Feast, you just do a little wrap around and you can go over to uh, Universal Monsters. And that's the last night of the, the last night, the last house of the night, folks. The last house of the night, folks. You know, Universal Monsters has always been probably one of my favorite houses every single year. So I'm excited to see if it can uh, keep up with the tradition with the Eternal Bloodlines. Last descendant, destroyer of monsters. Valor 
growing strong in my family's bloodline. Just as evil forces for the house of Dracula, I was given this name by my father, protector of mankind.
they say, you gotta save the best for last. Now, I'm not saying that's my favorite house, but the production in that house, I was mesmerized just looking at everything around me. And I also love the werewolf. I think that's like, it's, it's gotta be my favorite monster. You know what I mean? Yeah. Werewolf all the way. It's also, it's the, the female version of the werewolf too. Like a brand new, like, it's yeah. A full, it's a full female, I think almost the entire house is female cast. So all female. Cool. It was really good, yeah. Do werewolves have nards? <laughs> <laughs> this has been one of the best HHNs I've ever been to. Like this night itself. And uh, now I think it's time to go home, see Gracie, and let you guys know what my favorite houses were. And with that, I think we are done here. I had such an amazing night, and I love the premium Scream night. It is so worth $350. Now, they only did it once. This is the first time they ever did it, and I really hope they bring it back because I would definitely do it again. You get to get so much room to just look at all the details that they, they put so much hard work into the details of the houses and the scare zones, and I like it when there's not so many people there because then you kind of spot them out and it was so cool and I'm glad the way I did it with the video because like I said I went to both nights I went to the opening night and the premium scare night and I should record it on opening night and I just put the clips in because it was a little bit awesome to be able to show you guys what it looks like at an empty HHN and the lineup this year the houses they were all phenomenal they were all so cool and I loved all of them if I would have to go you know my favorite it, 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 my favorite has to be insidious it it was just so terrifying for me and you know what I mean it, it, when it comes to houses like that I always look at a couple different things I always look at like the theming the production the creepiness and you know insidious was hitting it all and then right after that I probably would go monstrous uh, monstrous the uh, Latin American monsters that was so awesome I could see why it was voted one of the best houses in Hollywood I think it was voted the best house in Hollywood HHN and the puppets were amazing there and uh, number three uh, slaughter cinema slaughter cinema was so fun and i loved how you went to the different movies and uh number four might as well just go down the list number four definitely grob uh go groblins goblins because i like the puppets like i said i like big gigantic puppets and it was toss up between there and the monstrous one because they both had amazing puppets in there the ones i didn't like so much probably I didn't like a quiet place. I mean, it was cool, but I don't get scared in the dark like that. I like seeing visualize and I like getting the jump scares and uh, it, it's definitely probably scary for people that, you know, don't like that stuff. I like the noise and I like how it was quiet and major sweets. It was cool. It was very bright, but I would probably put that in my bottom too. And triplets of terror. I thought it was creepy. And once I like started thinking about it more, it kind of went by quite a pretty quick we were in there pretty fast in and out and i i like that they built up the storyline it was kind of like those crime like podcasts and you kind of hear what the the triplets are doing um but overall it was a great night so let me know in the comments what your favorite house was and i can't wait to just keep on hanging out and going to halloween horror nights for the rest of the season so i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it and uh we'll see you next time bye Gracie is definitely not made for Halloween Horror Nights. Want a cookie? <gasps> Whoop. Yeah. Little cookie. She says, cookies, not scares.